Can I play devil's advocate? Yes, do and it. Ask, and ask a question that surely will generate a five-minute YouTube segment that could send YouTube into a frenzy and all of our followers into a frenzy. I promise you all it wasn't in the format, but I'm asking because I want to hear Rob and Terrence's answer. I'm going to start with Rob. I'm going to put Rob on the spot. Do it. Rob, remove the names of the programs. Look at accomplishments thus far. You could hire one of them tomorrow to be the coach of your program. John Shire or Hubert Davis? Uh, I'm going with Shire. I, I, I would go with Shire. I think that... Um, Let it be known, Hubert Davis has gone to a national championship game. Yeah, I know. And I actually think Hubert uh, proved a lot of people wrong last year with, uh, with with the job that he did with that team. I thought, I mean, look, he, he was uh, right there. He didn't get national coach of the year because of what happened in uh, in stores and what happened in Houston, but he was right there in the mix for national coach of the year. Um, I would probably take Shire because one, I think that the the recruiting is on a little bit of a different level with him. And two, I'm a little bit more impressed with some of the way that he's able to kind of switch up what he does from game to game and get guys to develop throughout a season. But I think it's a lot closer than people are going to give it credit for. And I think it's inarguable right now that Hubert Davis has had a more successful uh, stint replacing a legend so far than John Shire has had replacing a legend. My, are you all? You're you're smirking there to you. I feel like you're about to tell me that I'm dumb. Nah, I, I think uh, Hubert had a 22 23 season with Caleb Love and RJ that just didn't work. Mm -hmm. Uh, outside of that, he's won 29 <laughs> games the other two seasons. John is 27 and nine both seasons. Uh, shit, both really good. I, I think it's close. Yeah, it's very close. Oh, that's why I asked the question. Yeah, it's very close. I, I they both. They, I, what I'll say about both, I don't know who I would pick because this is like making me stutter. Uh, both have shown the willingness to adapt to the rosters that they have, which yeah. is very anti K for a long time. Now K had to switch in the tens, but it, but in Roy never really switched. <laughs> they've 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 both been willing to to change to what their team has uh it's very close i i don't i, I honestly don't know the answer to that i i don't know the answer to that 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 is a hell of a question if i had to pick one so you have an elite eight in a second round you have a sweet 16 and a final four and a final fun four and a and a missing the tournament as a number one the preseason number one team well the you know it, the reason why i asked the question is this i think heading into the year, the casual says Duke has Cooper Fleck, Final Four. No, that's not but, how this works today. But that's not how this works. Yeah. And that backcourt, which we have not gotten to, that backcourt has a big question mark hovering over it of whether or not they're going to be able to perform at the level that Shire needs them to. There are a lot of pieces. I think Khan Knupel is going to be a stud. I think... Common Malawak is a stud. Um, I just, you got, it's a hit that button, point guard play. Does Duke have it game in, game out?